Today I'm going to show you how to get the Mysterious Treasure Tankard, the Silver Legendary Eye Patch, and a bunch of Athena's reputation. Alright, first things first, this is a guide for the Sea of Thieves Legends Week event. This event will last from 10 a.m. UTC time on September 7th until 10 a.m. UTC time on September 14th. That means there's exactly six and a half days from when this video goes up to get your hands on all these items. Now first, I want to go over this event's modifiers. Now during this event, all golden reputation earned by selling Athena's fortune items to the Mysterious Stranger or the Sovereigns will be doubled. So any Athena's items that you're selling to the Sovereigns or the Mysterious Stranger will give you double gold, double rep. Now this does not extend to the Servant of the Flame, so don't sell your Athena stuff to the Reapers, sell it to the Sovereigns of the Mysterious Stranger. Now as well as that, for the duration of the event, Ashen Winds World events will be significantly more common. So if you're seeing lots of Ashen Lords, that's why. Now to login bonuses. Any player who logs into the game during the event will get a free Legend of the Veil Voyage automatically added to their inventory. As well as that, any Pirate Legend who logs into the game will get the Mysterious Stranger Tankard automatically added to their inventory. Now as a note, it's unclear whether or not you'll get the tankard if you become Pirate Legend during the event. Uh, we just we just don't know. And just as a heads up with login bonuses, sometimes it can take a bit for them to be added to your inventory. So if you log in and they're not there, don't freak out. It can take up to 72 hours. If you don't have them after that, open a support ticket with the link in the description. Now next, we have the bulk of this event, the challenges. If you want to track any of these challenges, go into your menu, Pirate Log, Season 9, Events, Special Events, Legends Week. Now first, we're going to talk about the community goal. The community goal is a community-wide goal that any player can progress and we complete together. To finish this challenge, we need to sell, as a community, 1 million Athena's fortune items. At our current rate, I think we'll probably do it in 2 or 3 days. Now, once we complete this challenge as a reward, we will get 24 hours of increased Fort of Fortune spawn rates. So once we finish this challenge, we're going to have 24 hours where there's going to be a lot of Fort of Fortunes. So if you're trying to get those Chests of Fortune commendations, it might be worth keeping an eye on this community goal. Now, as well as that, there's also a reward for contributing to the community goal. If you sell 10 Athena's Fortune items, you will unlock the Silvered Legendary Eye Patch. which, by the way, this is the Eye Patch from last year's Legend Week, so you might already have it. Now, nothing in this challenge says it's locked to Pirate Legends, which would suggest that all players can get the eye patch. But in another paragraph on the website, it says it'll unlock the Silver Legendary eye patch for those Pirate Legends who have yet to earn it. So I'm not actually sure if this is Pirate Legend locked or if all players can get it. If someone could confirm that for me in the comments, that would be great. Now, the last part of this event is the Legendary Daily Challenges. Now, how these challenges work is every single day of the event at 10 a.m. UTC time, a new challenge will unlock. That challenge will be available from the time it unlocks until the end of the event. In total, there are seven challenges. Now, each of these challenges will award you with a decent chunk of renown and Athena's fortune reputation, but no cosmetics and nothing like that. Just renown and Athena's fortune rep. And because of that, I'm not gonna cover these in depth because I'd have to like double the video's runtime. And I don't think a lot of you guys are gonna be interested in these. If I'm wrong, please tell me and I'll make sure to cover stuff like this in future guides. And if you have any questions at all about any of these or want tips on any of them, you can ask and I have stuff for pretty much all of them. Anyway, that is pretty much everything. If you have any questions, you can comment. I'll transfer them as soon as possible, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.